What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you some of the best minion setups in the game. Whether it's for fishing XP, combat XP, foraging XP, mining XP, or just for money, I'm going to show you the best setups. Starting with money. If you want to make the most money while AFK, you're going to have to go with slime minions. But before we get into slime minions, let me talk about some cheaper alternatives. Way back in the day, in old Hypixel Skyblock, everyone was using snow minions. Now there are better things than snow minions, but they're still not that bad, and that's for a couple of reasons. The first reason why they're good now is because they're extremely cheap. I mean, just look how many I have. And another double chest full of them. And half a double chest full of them. By the way, if this video hits 100 likes, I'll start giving out snow minions to the people in the comment section. Because why not? Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I'm pretty sure a tier 1 snow minion will sell for like 200k in the hub. And a tier 11 snow minion will sell for about 1 mil to 800k per. Obviously, you could just buy tier 1 minions in bulk and craft them to tier 11. If you want, come to my island or DM me and I can sell you some. So now that we know that they're cheap, let me go on to the other benefit. If you look at the time between actions on a tier 11 snow minion, you may notice something. It's only 6.5 seconds, which is a crazy fast time. If you pair this with the extremely cheap diamond spreading upgrade from the bazaar, then you'll be getting tons of diamonds, which not only will make you a decent amount of money, but as a nice side bonus, it'll increase your mining level by a ton. Like, I'm talking about, have these down long enough, you might become mining 50 in no time. I don't know the exact rate, I just remember it being pretty good. I also remember people using clay minions in the same fashion, with a diamond spreader, but I would just stick to snow minions as they're easier and they look cooler. Anyway, let's go back to slime minions. And look, I have some setup up there. However, there is a problem with my setup. It's super chaotic, and although it makes money, there's some issues. I can't reach any slimes. That does not seem good. I'm pretty sure that only matters if they can reach slimes while you're on the island, but I'm going to be rebuilding this into a setup where it's a lot more compact and it shouldn't have any more issues. I'm going to be basing it off this picture I took of Chez Cube's island, so shout out to him, and also I hope this works because I haven't really tested this. But this means we have to destroy everything and pick up all of the minions, so enjoy this time lapse. <laughs> Alright, I'm finished destroying everything and it's absolute chaos right now with all these slimes just falling down from the sky. Because slimes would just phase through the wall and fall down on our island, I have no clue why. Anyway, let's get to claiming the minions and see how much money are actually in them, because they've been cooking for quite a while. Okay, that's pretty annoying. It's not letting me pick up more than like 3 minions at a time because it just fills my inventory. And also for some reason it doesn't just go to my stash. And if I insta-sell everything, it'll sell all of the minion upgrades too, so this is going to take a while. Actually, I decided I'm just going to build the setup now and move the minions after. So let's get to it. I'm going to be building the minion setup at the very bottom of my island so it's out of the way of all my builds. Here's the setup we're going for in person, and as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. Here's the bottom view. Alright, this design is very simple, so it shouldn't be that hard. First, we need glass panes, and then literally any building material. I'm going to be using quartz because why not? Time to start building. Alright, we're done the base design for it and it's looking pretty good. I'm not sure if we need the carpet on top of these slabs. Actually, I'm not even sure I placed them in the right place, but we're going to test it anyway. Alright, let's put our first slime minion here. And let's see what he does. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Oh. There we go. So I'm pretty sure that means it's going to work. Yep. If you're going to be doing this method with the slime minions, then you should be using the best upgrades that are available for you. For example, I can afford plasma buckets, so I have one in there. You need corrupted soil for this to work. You also need an enchanted hopper. For this last upgrade slot, you can either have a fly swatter if you're rich, or just use a minion expander. Your upgrades should look something like this, and if you have to cheap out on the fuel, that's perfectly fine. Just know that enchanted hopper, minion expander, and corrupt soil are necessary. Also keep in mind that there is no minion chest as you make the money from the enchanted hopper. Let me finish picking up all the minions and moving them here. Also, let's see how many coins we get from all of this. I had to build another layer to fit all the minions, but it looks like it's working really good. I just placed these guys and they're already generating items. Also, I do have two fly catchers, 
but they're kind of expensive. But now that I'm thinking about it, it's a 15% speed increase. As you can see here, minion expander only gives 5%, while well, this one gives 20%, and it's only 26 mil, which I couldn't afford back in the time where we made all this minions, but now I can afford, so I might do that in the future. And there's one very important thing that I forgot to cover as well. Let me pick up this minion to show you. As you can see here, it says Mithril Infusion, which grants a 10% speed boost. You can buy these Mithril Infusions from the Bazaar and combine them with your minions for a permanent 10% speed boost. If you have the money for this, then I'd recommend that you should buy some of these. Now that we're done building one of the best money-making minion setups in the game, we can move on. Besides from just making money, there are other uses for minions, such as collections. One of the most useful minions to place down early game is the redstone minion, as maxing it out grants tons of more slots for your accessory bag, which you're going to need later on. Other collections aren't as important, or you can just grind them normally. However, I do have two minion slots open to farm collection. This is because I'm trying to max out every single collection in the game in order to get as much Skyblock XP as possible. You don't have to do this, and you probably shouldn't, but if you're going to be creating a lot of tier 11 minions to unlock more minion slots, then you might as well place some of them down to max out the collection. That is, if you care about Skyblock XP. Which you should. Moving on from that, we have minion setups that are for getting skill XP. In my opinion, the only minions you should be worried about placing for skill XP are fishing minions as some people can't stand fishing at all and it's super tedious and takes a long time. Fishing also sucks if you're at a low level, so you might as well just place down fishing minions and claim it during derpy. Please claim it during derpy. Just wait, trust me. The other skills aren't as worth it to place down minions for. You may be thinking it's worth it to place down foraging minions, but they barely give any XP and it's more worth it just to grind out foraging while derpy is mayor. It sucks. Actually, you don't even have to do it, but just please don't buy foraging minions. There's more useful minions out there. That's my main point. Setting up fishing minions are also really easy, so let me show you how to do that. All you have to do is create a little contraption like this and place down a water bucket. Then, you can build layers around the water and place the fishing minions around it. You can also stack it on top of each other. Oops, I kinda messed it up. You get the idea though. Uh, I forget exactly how it goes, but this is pretty much it. I'm sure you can figure it out. And obviously, I can't show you with the fishing minions in because I have slime minions down. Let's go over the minion upgrades you'll need for fishing minions. Don't cheap out on the storage, as you should be letting these minions run for a long time. So at the very least, get a large storage or an extra large storage. Next, get a super compactor 3000 as well as a minion expander or a flycatcher. And I think that's it for fishing minions. I don't know, I could be missing something. Who knows, maybe you can put like a sleepy hollow in there, I don't know. This video was a personal request from someone in my Discord, so make sure to join the Discord, link in the description below. If any of these things confuse you, then join the Discord as well. Ask anything in the advice channel and I'll make sure to get to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and stop. If you guys would like to win 100 million coins, then simply like, sub, and comment down your IGN and why you think you deserve the coins. I will be picking one lucky winner at the end of my month of daily uploads and I will be announcing that on Discord. So join using the link in the description down below. And also in the Discord, I'm doing an additional 100 million coin giveaway. And there are other useful channels too. Especially for my YouTube channel members who get personal help and advice on lowballing, flipping, and progression from me and my co-op member.